shit. <laughs> Spring is officially here, and so is the 2016 Outlander Can-Am XMR 850, brand spanking new. I'm a little bit uh, hyper to go for a ride on this thing, but I got to do a little break-in on it, 10-hour break-in, and uh, as you can see right now, we still have a uh, just a little bit of snow. It's uh, second last week in March and it was starting to melt nicely but we got a big snowstorm 30 centimeters so spring's been put off for a little bit but I'm super stoked to have this thing. We got uh, 30 inch Gorilla Silverback mud tires. It's got uh, Fox shocks on this thing. 850 V twin, 3,000 pound winch. This is all relatively stock. The only thing I've put on it so far is the uh, hand guards and the heated grips. Put some of the Heat Demon heated grips on. It'll be nice for spring riding. I went with the 850 because the, the 1000 doesn't offer the shorter chassis. This thing's got the normal length frame on it. The 1000 is, uh, I believe, nine inches longer. Stock muffler sounds pretty good. Eventually I might put another one on there, we'll see. I think uh, skid plates will be in order for this thing. Maybe a tiger tail on the back. Turn the lights on. It's got a two setting on this. There's on and then there's, you go back and it's on with the key or with the lights on. Low beam. High beam. Not sure good how good they are, but we'll find out. All right, thought it'd be fun to do a little uh, comparison. The 08 Brute Force 650 and the 16 XMR 850. 26 inch tires versus 30. Better suspension, she sits way higher. She's wider. Around the back. That's the difference. Brute force looks pretty small compared to this thing. 
this thing super wide at the seat. They're both good machines, that's for sure. Be interesting to see how uh, rough these tires are. They didn't feel too bad just backing it up in the driveway here. As soon as you get going a little bit, it uh, smooths out a bit, so I'm sure they're not going to be too bad if I'm on trails. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you later.